Hey everyone, it's Tara. Today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday loose waves hairstyle. So first I'm going to brush my hair out. So this is how my hair naturally air dries. It's got a pretty textured wave to it. So first I'm going to take my flat iron and just kind of smooth the curls out a little. I'm not fully straightening the hair. I just want to smooth it out and kind of loosen those waves a little bit before I begin curling. So now I'm sectioning out the top half of my hair and clipping that to the side. And then with the bottom, we're going to take a one inch curling iron and I hold the clamp open and hold the iron downward and wrap the piece of hair around the curling iron and the size of section that I'm taking are probably about an inch to two inch sections. The bigger the piece you take, the looser the wave will be and the smaller the piece you take, the tighter the wave will be. So I'm just kind of loosely curling this. I want it to be wavy, not too tight. So I'm taking, like I said, about an inch to two inch sections and we're just gonna wrap each piece around the barrel. And then once that is all done, I'm taking the flat iron and loosely running over the very ends. So my hair holds a curl really tight and that's why I'm doing this is because I want a little bit more of a loose wave look and my hair tends to spring up and get really bouncy curly. So that's why I flatten out the ends. But if your hair doesn't hold a curl very well and tends to fall flat, I would skip that step. So now I took down the top section and I'm just doing the same thing, taking the same size pieces and going all around and waving all the hair and in the front I'm going about the curling just slightly differently because the hairs are shorter in the front and this particular section is my most difficult section on my whole head so it takes me a while I have to go over that piece pretty much a hundred thousand times before I get it right I even have to go over with my flat iron a little bit so it gives me a lot of trouble but hopefully your hair won't be as difficult as mine. Um, I like to curl that hair away from my face and then a little bit of hairspray is definitely gonna help it to cooperate. Same thing on the other side. I'm taking small pieces and curling them away from my face. And then once I have longer hairs, I'll continue with the wrapping curling technique. Another thing that I wanted to say is that if your hair has a harder time holding a curl, you'll want to prep it first using a texturizing spray to give it some more grip so that it will hold better. My hair, like I said earlier, tends to curl pretty tightly and hold a curl very well, so I don't prep it a whole lot ahead of time. But if your hair is pretty fine or it falls, out of a curl really easily. I would definitely prep this with a texture spray so that it will hold. And I'm actually, as you can see, kind of going over with my flat iron to loosen it up a little bit more after I curled. And that's just to make it a little bit looser. Um, and I'm just perfecting some of the pieces now with the curling iron until I get it just right. And then finishing it off with some hairspray and that will just about complete this look. So this is pretty much my go-to everyday style that I wear almost every day if I'm not wearing my hair in my natural texture. So I hope you guys learned something and hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Also let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.